Wow, more remake, more FF7 remake. This is exciting stuff, guys. 60 FPS! It, it is at 60, right? Yeah, 1080 60 from the official Final Fantasy uh, YouTube channel. It looks great at 60, guys. Look at this. Now it's my turn. Wow, wow. That's what I'm feeling right now. Cloud. Cloud is saying what I'm feeling. A touching reunion. Yes, it is. It's actually been a while since I last played this game, so it is a touching reunion. Here we go! Yuffie! Yes, I've been spoiled. This I know it's Yuffie. Oh! Cute Mog! Cute Mog like hood she got there. Sure is. Special forces operative for the new Wu Tai government. Woo! Common enemy that Wu Tai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, we got this. As usual, the voice acting is on point. Shucks. It's nice to meet you. I'm Sonan Kasakabe. Yeah, I heard about this guy. Sonan? What? The hell is he? Okay though, right? New story story. I wonder if. Better not. After what they've done. If this is like interwoven in the story. Look, a Moogle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, a Moogle. <laughs> and he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, I wonder if this is like interwoven within the story or like it takes place in an isolated period of time. You know, like after the game or something, like a post game thing. Because it seems like it's happening fairly early on in the um, FF7 remake part one story. Wow! Oh, combat looks amazing. Look at this. What the? What the hell is this mech? Is this an original like enemy, or is it a remix of a classic one? There she is without the Moogle like uh, disguise. She looks great. Oh, he's like their inside man. There you are. Who are these jerks? No clue. It just appeared. Yeah, who are these jerks? <laughs> wow, that was great. I love it. Let the hunch begin. Oh, right, 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 right. It's the Dirge of Cerberus boss as like a, a new VR enemy. There's another trailer though. There's another trailer. Let's take a look at it. This is the features trailer. So this is like the new things that are being added to the PS5 version um, on the base game. So the previous trailer was exclusively the new stuff, the, the new Yuffies. Oh! Wow, I gotta see that again. Oh, so clear and detailed. Oh, it's so much better on the left. Okay, you can really tell in this shot. Oh, oh and yeah, and, and then 60 FPS, right? A 30 FPS video that transitions into 60 FPS. You see it a mile away, you know, the differences. It's great. Oh, that looks... Ooh, the lighting is so much improved in the left side. Textures. Yeah, the textures that don't load on the PS4. That was hilarious, guys. That was so hilarious. I am assuming that that's not a thing anymore in the PlayStation 5 version. Yeah, okay. The lighting there is noticeable. There is a huge difference in lighting. And hopefully in textures. At the very least, texture loading. That should all load just correctly on the, uh, the PS5 next-gen SSD. Which I suppose is current-gen now. I mean, next-gen for me, I don't got no PS5, guys. I don't know about you guys watching this, but I don't got no PS5. Been trying to get a PS5 for, like... Uh, what is it now? February? As I'm recording this? For three months I've been trying to get a PS5. To no avail! Normal classic difficulty? What is that? Let's see. Uh, select the difficulty of the game, the setting, blah, 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 blah. The player-controlled character will attack and defend automatically, allowing you to focus on executing commands. The battle difficulty is the same as normal. Oh, it's normal difficulty, but it's turn-based style. Like, it has the easy mode turn-based option, but... Uh, but, like, at the normal difficulty, which I am not interested at at all. Like, I love the battle system about this game. It's one of the things I love about it, so I'm not playing any of the classic versions. Just gonna play normal on this again. Oh, photo mode! Nice, very nice. 
Oh, also, if I do get this on PS5, I think I can carry over my save. So I purposely didn't do a new game plus for the PS4 version that came out in, what was that, April, right, of last year. Because I wanted my new game plus or my second replay of the thing um, to be the next gen version, whether it's on PS5 or PC. So if I do play this on PS5 and I'm hearing that it's exclusive to PS5, uh, this integrate upgrade, I might not have a choice. Um, the good news there is um, I'll be able to carry over my save, I think that's how that works, to transfer my data from my PS4 and my PS5. But I was more than willing to just play the game over again if it was on PC, you know. But we'll see. We'll see if it still comes out on PC in June. Or a bit after that, I don't know. Yeah, we just saw this, it was amazing. What? Oh yeah, we, we saw exactly this part. It was Oh this is like new footage. Yeah, this is new footage! Yeah yeah yeah. It's a bit more to the trailer we previously saw. Nice. I wonder if that's the I wonder if that's her final boss. Hopefully not, because we were just spoiled. Oh, that's so good. If you own a copy of the PlayStation 4 version, upgrade to the PlayStation 5 version for free. You can even carry over your save data, so that's great. I have to check out how that works. New episode featuring Yuffie. Available for purchase after upgrading to the PlayStation 5 version. Worldwide! June 10th! So that was great. Uh, I was... I mean... It's impossible to not know that Yuffie's in FF7 Remake, but that was the first time I saw the actual trailers, and it looked amazing. The thing is, everyone expected this upgrade to already uh, be a thing, right? It was a foregone conclusion. It was just a matter of time, you know? Uh, and I was... I, I am honestly hoping that it comes out on the PC. Even though I can't carry over my save data there, I am more than willing to just replay the game from scratch. But from what I'm hearing right now, it is PS5 exclusive. So there's two ways that that's gonna shake out. One is very straightforward that it's just PS5 exclusive for however long, maybe a whole other year, and I got no choice, right? If that's the case, hopefully I can get a PS5 around June so I can play it as early as possible. Uh, but the second way this shakes out is now the exclusivity, the, the one-year exclusivity of uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake to the Sony PlayStation uh, ends like mid-April this year, right? So maybe in mid to late April they announce that it's also coming on PC. Hopefully, I don't know. I'm hoping for that, like because as far as I can tell, market is still terrible about these things. So. Possibly the earliest that I, like many other people around the globe, I'm gonna get a PS5 is Christmas-ish this year. It's probably the earliest. I don't want to wait half a year to a whole year to play Integrate. Because it looks amazing, guys. I can't wait. Literally can't wait. And I want to know what you guys thought. Did you love that trailer for Final Fantasy VII Integrate for PlayStation 5? Do you have a PlayStation 5 right now and are, you know, essentially sitting pretty, just waiting for the game to come out? Or are you like me, hoping that it also drops on other systems, PC or otherwise, uh, once June 10th hits? Let me know in the comments down below, we can continue talking about it there. And this has been Asian Action Actor. If you like my reaction to the Final Fantasy VII Intergrade trailers, please click like down below. Subscribe so you can see more of my awesome content. Follow me on Twitter to see my daily thoughts on things. And while you're here, you might want to check out the other trailer reactions that I have already done on my channel.